Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Olama is an open source tool that makes it easy to run, manage and experiment with large language models locally on your own machine. The beauty of Olama is that there are various models which you can not only run on your CPU but also on commodity GPU with just 4 GB or 8 GB of VRAM. If you have been following my channel, you know that I cover Olama based models a lot, especially when we need to do some quick prototyping. Olama removes the barrier of complex infrastructure and technical setup, providing simple commands and interfaces to download, launch and interact with LLMs. So much so that in order to install it, all you need to do is to just click on this download button here. And for Windows and Mac, you just need to download this executable and then do next next and you should be able to install it fairly quickly. For Linux, all you need to do is to run this command to get it installed. The purpose of this video is to go through top 5 models in terms of quality, which I use a lot. Not only I use them for my own prototyping, but, but also whenever I need to do some POC for a client or for a real world use case and I am a resource constraint which is more often the case than not then I select one of these models. So not only I am going to give you a very quick rundown of these models and their comparison in this video but this video is a real world focused video where I will be showing you after working with these models for more than a year or whatever their release date is in real world scenarios and use cases. The good thing about Olama based model is that it democratizes access to advanced AI models allowing you to use and compare cutting edge intelligence without relying on cloud services or buying a very very expensive GPU. Now. The models which I am going to cover in this video are these DeepSeek R1 Distilled, Llama 3.3, Quen with Thinking or QWQ or Quen with Questions, Quen 2.5 Coder, and Llama 3.2 Vision. And why I have selected these models and why not others because there are hundreds of them already present on Olama. Now there is no favoritism here, as I said, the main reason is around quality. I uh, find that in my day to day prototyping, these models perform well, even I have implemented few of these in production for few of the clients. So I believe these models, despite of the fact that some of them are a bit older, they quite, they are of a very, very good quality and they hold their water and with the rise of numerous open source and proprietary models, it's really difficult to know which one best fit your need. Whether you're looking for superior reasoning, advanced multilingual capabilities, coding powers or even multimodal, which means vision plus language capabilities, Olama gives you to benchmark and directly run these models. So today's comparison focuses on quality across varied skills set so listeners or you of course can make informed decision or choices for your own specific need. So let's start by the first one. So if you look at this table, this gives you a very quick overview of the models. So if you look at this table, this gives you core characteristics of these each model which I mentioned above. Model name, parameter size, licensing terms, specialization and developer. It helps set the stage showing that the model cover a spectrum of needs. From lightweight distilled models like DeepSeek R1 to massive 70 billion and 90 billion models like Llama 3.3 and Llama 3.2 Vision. Licensing is crucial factor for commercial users. DeepSeek R1's permissive MIT Apache licensing is specially appealing for businesses and research, while Meta Llama series require adherence to their community licensing. As for specialization, each model occupies a unique niche. DeepSeek focuses on reasoning and math, 
Llama and Quen balance between reasoning chat code and even multimodal abilities. So in this table, no single model is best overall, but Quen 2.5 coder and Llama 3.3 stand out for their sheer size and breadth and quality, while Deep Sea Car 1 and Llama 3.2 Vision show the evolution towards specialization and multimodal capabilities. So whenever I need to run a prototype on some coding model, I just select Quen 2.5 coder out of the box. There are various other good options too, but for a quick uh, rundown, I just select this one. If I have to go with the reasoning one, I just select Deep Sea Car 1 distilled. In the distilled, we have Quen and Llama flavor. I normally go with the Quen flavor. And for general purpose stuff, I my first choice is Llama 3.3, not Llama 4. And for, for multimodal, I go either with Llama 3.2 Vision and there is another one, Mini CPM, which is also quite good. And look, this is just valid for today. Tomorrow I might be using something else because in AI things change very rapidly and you can tell that from the number of videos I post on daily basis. Okay, let's check out the score competency comparison where we are comparing each model's effectiveness in major AI domains, reasoning, multilinguality, code generation, repair and vision. So Deep Sea Carbon Distilled and QWQ Dominate in Reasoning with uh, deep seek particularly built for tough problems, making them the logical pick for math heavy or logic driven task. QWQ is for the lightweight reasoning, I would say. Llama 3.3 is a clear winner for multilingual projects supporting eight languages natively and bringing strong dialogue chat performance. But if you are just looking uh, for translation side of things, there is another model called as Aya from Cohere, which is also quite good and it is available on Olama. Quen 2.5 Coder excels in code related tasks, both generation and repair, and outperforms other open models in multi language code scenarios. Llama 3.2 Vision is the only model here with strong multimodal capabilities, making it the go to for image plus text projects. So, if you need the best, in a single vertical for a quick prototype, reasoning, coding, language or vision, and you really are very confused which one to select, maybe this table could guide you to the right champion. Okay, let's check out this final table. So this table focuses on real world benchmark results and unique model advantages. Take it with grain of salt because we never know about these benchmarks. Anyway, Deep Sea Carbon Distilled scores exceptionally high on academic math and logic challenges and often outperforms much larger or closed models. Llama 3.3 demonstrates state-of-the-art performance on industry benchmarks relevant to chat and multilingual dialogue, showing that size and training data diversity matter for chatbots or assistants. QWQ stands out on reasoning-heavy benchmarks that uses reinforcement learning to push the boundaries of what models can think about. Quen 2.5 Coder sets a bar in code generation, repair and even human preference alignment, even matching up against commercial models like GPT-40. Lastly, Llama 3.2 Vision wins whenever visual understanding is needed. Now there are a lot of other models in Vision too, but I'm just talking from the perspective of Olama here. And then if your project is defined by key performance benchmarks like math, code, chat or multimodal, maybe this table could help you out in that regard. Nonetheless, I still believe it's very hard to select a model from Olam or any other similar site. But taken together, I think this table and this comparison provide uh, an at a glance and sort of an in-depth or real world guide to select the right Olama model for your project. Also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description so please do check them out. That's it. Let me know what is your favorite Olama model for which use case. Please put it in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.